Hello everyone and welcome to our course uh, Oracle Primavera P6 version 18. In this course, we're gonna teach uh, P6 version 18 the latest revision. You're gonna be expert in the, in the software. You will know how to download it and do the database configurations. And also actual models from project all over the world, it's not only slide, but we're gonna go and work on the live software and let us start and give you overview of the course. My name is Alex Elhindawi, Project Control Managers in USA, California. And also I am an instructor for PMP, P6, and Six Sigma and RISC. Uh, lecture number one will explain uh, P6 history, uh, the P6 features, tools, and the interface, and critical path, and CPM techniques and turn so the intention of this course is, is that you will know how to be an expert in the program okay about the uh, primavera p6 p6 is a professional planning and control software and it is built on oracle and microsoft sql server and it is enterprise right now enterprise wide project management so you can use the software to manage many projects at the same time for a big company that we have portfolios like highways and the airport and building so this is very suitable software okay uh, primavera can do what primavera can uh, do scheduling the project budgeting the project administering and managing many projects at the same time and also can manage shared resources and you can use also Primavera to control your kitchen. Uh, Primavera structures Primavera has an uh, enterprise project structure called EPS how the company structures divided into many uh, uh, subsidiary or many companies or something like that it's called EPS and also in Primavera, you, you're going to have work breakdown structures, WBS. How we divide your project into more manageable component so that you will be able to manage uh, this component. It has also organization uh, breakdown structure, OBS, that you will add the staffing and organization chart of the company. We are here explaining the side uh, uh, before going to the actual software and explaining that and we're gonna make Primavera very easy for anyone uh, and he will be an expert uh, in the software by end of this course it has many defined field and codes uh, and also it help you define the critical path uh, CPM and do the resource leveling which is very very important P6 history, P6 goes to 1996 uh, when a small company called Eagle Ray uh, software system and uh, start a shop in New York State in America and this is what the start of the program okay in 1999 it releases a Primavera version P3 which is very very nice version of Primavera and still some people like it because of the Gantt chart of that in 2006 Primavera version uh, number five 2007 it comes the uh, Primavera P6 version and after that P6 version did not change it just added more releases to P6 P6.7 6.8 and something like that in October 2008 Oracle announced that it has entered into an agreement with Primavera to acquire the company. In Primavera, you're going to manage the important resources like money and time and equipment, personnel and materials. And we're going to explain that and we're going to make it very, very easy uh, for anyone. Okay. The critical path method CPM is a project management technique for scheduling that define critical and non-critical activity. The critical path is a chain of activity from the start to the finish of the project that has the latest 
the least amount rows. It could be zero. It based on the definition and the settings that we're going to show you guys uh, uh, in uh, the live software. Here's the model show how the critical pass started from uh, start to finish and how it looks like in, in red and most of the activity finished to start like that. Here's some terminology that are very important for anyone to work on even in project management or anything. Activity, the task you're going to do when you divide the WBS into more uh, tasks, this is called the activity. And you have also the earlier start, early finish, and late start and late finish. And you have also the duration. Each activity has a specific duration. You have free float. The free float, the time activity can be delayed without delaying the successive activity or the following activity. The total float is the amount of time that activity can be delayed without delaying the project. And it could be measured from late start to manage in early start or late finish minus early finish. We're gonna uh, go through that. So you can uh, do the, the start, uh, the late start minus early start or late finish minus early finish. My advice, because I'm expert in this industry for 25 years in different projects all over the world. I have done projects more than 100 billion American dollar from highways, airport, engineering, building, and design and constructions. So normally, before going to the software, you have to review the project scope form. You have to review the project scope form. You have to look for the project drawing, bill of quality, contract conditions, and the available resources that you have inside the com uh, your company and the milestone. And also you know the project duration and the design conditions or details. Okay, let us go through the menu bars uh, uh, very fast before starting explaining that live. You have the file menu. It is similar to Excel when you're gonna open and close and do a setup for the, uh, uh, your uh, physics. Edit menu, you're gonna have edit menu, cut and copy and paste. And you're gonna have also here, uh, uh, the, this is not edit, this is project menu, you're gonna have activities, resources, WBS, and assign baseline, we'll explain that live. And also you're gonna have the enterprise, uh, uh, going from project, EPS, tracking your portfolio, if you would like to group uh, your activities or your project into a portfolio, okay? And here's the tool menu, which you're gonna do and do the schedules, the different resources, all this kind of stuff, and they uh, will explain that. And again, this is the tool menu, time activity table that will explain uh, the detail of each activity here from uh, activity ID, numeric ID, activity name, start, finish, total float, and load pass. The bar chart area. It's gonna be on your right side and show you the bar, the graphical representations of your activity. Activity details, the one below, you're gonna find from general, uh, status, and resources fruits, and we're gonna explain each one of that, okay? And you have here the EBS, so called the EBS is the highest level in the project or in the company, and after that you're gonna have the second level is the WBS, and after that, you're gonna have the activity. The OBS, or the organizational breakdown structure, which you're gonna add your staffing from the top manager to the foreman or all the staff. And this is really important because we're gonna assign responsibility. You're gonna learn in this class how to assign responsibility for the activity so that everyone on site will be responsible for his activity. After that, we'll know how to uh, uh, open a new project and we'll go to the live software explaining that. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next lectures, which is going to be important. So bear mind with me, you're going to be an expert and you will like the software more than Excel itself and you're going to do everything. You can grow in the P6, you can do the Christmas tree, you can do whatever you want. And when you'll be an expert, you're going to do that. Thanks so much for watching. This is Alex Al-Hindawi, Project Control Manager, and see you next lecture. Bye-bye.